All right, DJ Paul from 36 Mafia explain why the versus battle never jumped off of Bone Thugs and Harmony. Crazy Bone was supposed to be representing Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Check out our music and entertainment playlist. Appreciate the love, support. Best way you can help us out is share the video. But, um, well, yeah, he basically said that, um, Swiss Beast jumped in literally 35 minutes before the battle and told them it'd be bigger if they'd done it on versus. Now, he reached out to Crazy Bone. Crazy Bone was supposed to be the one representing Bone Thugs and Harmony. Now, this is a battle that a lot of people wanted to see, you know? I think that music are, is a lot different. Um, Three Six Mafia was bad at crossing over. They was better when they was doing Tear the Club, but we ride spinners, we ride spinners, they don't spot, you know, they was better off when they was doing that. My favorite Pimp C verse when he came out. <laughs> hey, so much shrimp, we got iodine poisoning. That was my junk sipping on some scissors. Been, um, you know, that that would have been a different contrast because Bone Thugs, they could have gone anywhere. They you know, imagine they play crossword crossroad and they play sipping on some scissor. Like it's hard. Like I like to explain it sometimes, like it's genres in rap. Right now you got pop rap, that's Drake, that's future. You still got, you know, the the true essence of rap, real rap, Kendrick, Big uh J. Cole. But then you got, you know, you got mumble rap. Back in the day, you had gangster rap. Now you got trap rap. You had conscious rap. You don't really have that no more. Um, you had you had a lot of different rap styles. I mean, West Coast had gangster. Then on Oakland, they had the the player talk, the pimp talk. You know, so you had different genres. Not everybody sound like they from Atlanta or somewhere in the South. Even back then, you know, Outkast, they Southern sound it was different from what they doing today. You know what I'm saying? In New York, you knew when somebody came out with New York, it was guys like Jay, Nas, even Cameron, Mace. They all had a certain type of style. Biggie, Pun, Big L. You gonna be able to tell a West Coast rapper from an East Coast rapper. You used to be able to tell, you know, Atlanta rapper shit from a Texas rapper. Right now, Roddy Rich sound like he from L.A., Compton, whatever he from. He sound like somebody in Atlanta or somebody from New York right now. So, in New York, it's really the only real, I don't even know I'm holding this brush. The only real sound in New York it, that sound like New York is them Griselda and really ASAP Fur. That's like now making me. We ain't talking about Jay, Nas, Cameron, who already had their careers. I mean, that's just what it boiled down to. But it would have been very, very interesting to see 3 Six Mafia and Bone Thugs. They had a lot of different style, styles or sounds. You know what I'm saying? Bone Thugs, you know, first of the month. That's, that's probably one of the. Five greatest rap songs. I think the greatest rap song, and you know, as far as like, I'm gonna say Regulator. That might be. I don't want to say that's the. It's one of the best rap songs. That probably I'm not saying this. This Warren G is the greatest rapper of all time, but that, uh, 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 Ice Cube, a good day, and first in a month, like you legit can play though, and nothing but a G thing got to be up there somewhere. You legit can play those four songs, 92, 96, wherever it was, 2000, 2008, 2016, 2020. You can legitimately play those songs. And damn near kids that were born in 98, 99, 2004, they know those songs. You know what I'm saying? They, time, they timeless songs. You know what I'm saying? And that was one of those timeless songs. I don't think 3-6 Mafia has a commercial timeless song. Like first of the month. Now it'd have been interesting. We could say, "Oh, Jay Z would beat anybody. Lil Wayne would be anybody." But really, you gotta make sure they can pick their songs the right way. But he went on to say that, you know, Swiss Beats broke it up and said he could do it on verses. And then they was working around on verses. And then, long story short, Crazy Bone pulled out. He said he he said he was uh, DJ Paul said he was avoiding you know he was avoiding his calls. Crazy Bone. He was calling Crazy Bone. He wouldn't pick up. And he said he, he saw him tweet out or something that, you know, with the world being in a place it is right now, it ain't the right time for a battle. And that was the whole thing about the battle. It was a way to entertain people while there was no movies, concerts, you know, skating rings, bowling alleys open. That was the premise of the versus battle. The versus battle was a product of the pandemic. You know, but he basically backed out the battle. Swiss B stopped the battle. Wanted to start it up and Crazy Bone didn't want to do it no more. And now it got shelf. And I was excited for that one. That was the original DMX versus 
Snoop Dogg battle. All that Patti LaBelle and that reggae, reggae tone, that ain't me. And I love Patti LaBelle, but I'm not really into the you know R&B joint. But I do want to see Escape SWV in total. They can just do a three-way. Give y'all an idea there. I'll take that one. But, you know, now we got T.I. and Jeezy coming up. Um, but Bone, Bone 3, 6 Mafia, it's not one I really wanted to see. I wanted to see it, but we'll see how I compare. But 3, 6 Mafia probably got to go against somebody like 8-Ball, MJG. And if you want to be frank, maybe uh, Diplomats, Dipset, you know. But that's just my opinion, man. But I hey, appreciate y'all for tapping in. Um, I put that article link in the description so you can check that out. But don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, cry response, your video request. You want to advertise on the channel? I got good rates. Then, other than that, man, uh, we got a Facebook group. You can check that out. Want to make a donation? Best way you can donate is share the video. Um, just keep sharing it for your boy. And then, you want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Really appreciate the share. You subscribing and hitting the bell icon button. But one time for the one time, we go.